YouTube, Eric DIY here with another great review for you today, or tonight as it is. We're going to review the 120 inch Century Star outdoor movie screen and set this up and have a movie night here tonight. Right, Maddie? Yeah! Inside the box, which is over there, you have a carrying bag, which is very nice. Tubes, which will set up the actual screen. Very nice pole settings, if you will, where you're going to have it on the ground. The stakes here are really nice. I, I noticed that right away, so it's not cheap little stakes that are going to slide the ground as much. They look actually decent compared to other screens out there. The screen itself is made out of this material that most outdoor screens are. It has a black border, and it's like a cloth if you will so I don't want to touch it too much else it's gonna get dirty but probably something you could wash so we're gonna set it up I'm hopefully gonna get some volunteers to help me set it up namely Maddie and Zach and uh, we'll get this thing up in no time okay so in the uh, manual here the user manual uh, we have what it looks like all set up the parts inside the bag of the horizontal pipes there's a lot of pieces of those the vertical pipes are also in there still uh, the tripods which is what I was talking about they're right there on the sides Projector screen comes in its own bag, which is nice because it doesn't always come in a bag with other kits. The uh, packing bag, it's tight. It looks like it's tight when you pack stuff up, but it'll work. Uh, the fixed buckle pieces, the upper joints are in this little bag over here, along with the stakes, if you will, and also the guy lines or windproof ropes, as they call them. They're in there as well. As far as assembly, it says the horizontal pipes, the vertical pipes, we have to thread it through and it's kind of cool they kind of thread right in there you just twist them right into each other so we're going to do that spare out the projector screen insert the horizontal pipes and push the upper joints into the end of the pipe then we insert the vertical pipes and connect it with the upper joint so yeah that looks pretty good push the direction indicator until the fixed buckle is aligned with the vertical pipe horizontal so it doesn't look that bad. We have some reinforcement here. That's actually nice to see. I think that this is gonna be a little bit more stable than the ones I've used in the past. Tripod, it kinda of just goes right into there. And then open the stand, pull up the projector screen for indoor use. If we're outdoors, which we are, we're gonna, we're gonna use the guy lines. But sometimes I just put rocks on the tripod, but we're gonna, we're gonna see about using the guy lines. Notice that they say, do not touch the projection and surface hands because it's it's honestly like cloth so it's gonna get there uh do not use chemical cleaning agents to clean the projection surface if you want to clean it use a soft cloth and brush and some water so that's how they want you to clean it and then again there's customer service if you need it however i think it's pretty straightforward how to build this and again these are really easy they just kind of twist to the right there you can see the kids are having fun so i kind of like the how the poles are built like tent poles almost they have a string in them and uh he's she's talking about camping tonight but we're gonna see because we gotta get the screen up first All right, so as you can see, the poles do a good job tightening the screen there. Uh, it does have a couple wrinkles. You could probably use an iron on that if you really wanted to, but it's it's pretty it's pretty taut. Uh, the bottom has that connector there, and the bot the pole that's on the side kind of goes in here and locks in there. And if you follow it up, it has these elbows that the top connects to, and and if you see, it goes up pretty easy as a movie screen. You just gotta put the tripods on the bottom, and that's how it holds it. And it has these holes put guy lines through so that way you can have it for wind so again we just got to put the tripods on the bottom it's 120 inches diagonally and it takes it's about two maddies tall lengthwise it's it's pretty big it's 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 pretty big so we're just gonna put the uh, tripods on and we'll have it complete and just like the poles it has a twisty part that you just twist onto the bottom there of the poles it does help to have more than one person I don't think one person could set this up this up by themselves so get some kids would you so once again, you're probably gonna need two people. Thanks, Zach. You're welcome. And uh, with these things, it's kind of cool because you can make the screen really taut. You can see it's really nice right now because you just pull down on these and it pulls all the wrinkles out. So you don't need to iron this. You just need to push those things down. Maddie's picking dandelions. Why not? Weed control, that's fine. But we're gonna try out this projector screen tonight. We're gonna put the guy lines on because it does fall over in some winds and hopefully everything will survive. Yeah. Good luck, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah? You ready for a movie tonight? I'm ready for a movie. You ready for a movie? Yeah. Okay. 
not right now. We have to wait till it gets dark. So let's get the guidelines on there. So as far as the stakes, you're gonna have to tie them right here. Uh, I would make them just like a shoelace. The whole string go through the top. And then we're gonna put another stake on the other side. So that's what we're gonna do on both sides. We're gonna tie it to each stake and then just put them in the ground. I will say that the guy lines are not the easiest thing to do. Right, Zach? Yep. They were uh, vicious. Uh, it fell over many times and we don't even have a lot of wind. So make sure you have a couple hands if you're gonna use the guy lines. Uh, also, don't touch the bottom of the tripod. I now have a Moana Band-Aid, thanks to Maddie and Zach. Uh, because the bottom of those are very sharp and as it fell, I had to grab it and I cut my finger. So be careful on the tripods. Underneath the metal is very sharp. As far as the screen though, it's holding up pretty well right now. We put these stakes in the ground and I just basically tied it like a shoelace. It's one string throughout, so you just have the string go right through. And you tie it down on both sides. Hard thing for short people like myself is getting the string through. So you'll have to tilt the screen forward to get the string through. So maybe you want to do it before you put the whole thing up. That might help, won't lie there. And uh, other than that, we're good to go for movies. So we're going to use our projector. Again, I have a link in the description below to the projector that we're going to use tonight. It's actually the go-to one that can be mounted on a tripod. And uh, the kids now want to camp tonight on the lawn. So we're going to see if we can get a tent up before we get this whole thing going on. It's also very lightweight, it's just me. I put some rocks just to support the tripods a little bit. That might be overkill, but for me, I thought it was pretty good. We are also on a slight decline here. So it's slightly, you know, not level, but uh, I think the rocks are gonna hold it down for any windows. Well, I actually say that you probably should get a rock if you can. And for tonight, we'll be using the Vampo L4200 projector, which is uh, very easily mounted on a tripod that we can move all around. Uh, we don't know if it's level or not with the screen yet, so that's why we're going to leave it here until it gets a little darker, and then we'll get everything going on. We'll probably hook it up to a laptop or something. It might rain, though, so we have to see what we can do, and then we'll go from there. We're going to leave a link in the description below to this Vampo L4200 for the review that we did on it, but it's been really, really good. Dude, she said we had to wait. Found uh, 28 down with heat stroke. Where did you get that? Oh, this? I got it on eBay. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I got it for $150, but the mint condition one goes for $300. Didn't occur to you maybe I had some poor taste? Think it'll scare the kids? The kids? This is little parents' nightmares. Is that good? They say I can sense thermal radiation, like snakes. So that's how they were them. It's the next day after using the Century Star outdoor movie screen, and it went well. Uh, there's pros and cons though, so we're gonna sum up this review. So let's go with the pros. First off, it's got nice tripods. I like the way that the uh, thing is constructed. It's pretty simple. More simple than others I've used in the past. It's lightweight steel, which is nice. As far as staying up last night, it did great. It also has a great screen. The weight of the screen is perfect. The uh, color temperature on it from the projector to the screen is not bad at all. It seems to be washable. This also went through a rainstorm last night. It wasn't like violent or anything, but you could see that it holds up to weather as well. Another pro is that you can actually project from the back if you wanted to. There's a way of doing that. You just uh, have a projector flip the image, durable and easy to put up. Also a pro is that it stores up really compact in the bag that they give you, uh, really secure. And it really wasn't that bad on packing it all up. Cons, cons would it be the fact that even though you have the guidelines, you probably want to wrap them around once or twice because it does fall over easy with wind. Or you can, uh, I do recommend using rocks or some type of sandbags or something on the tripods. Sandbags would probably be better. I don't have any of those. Fine last night. Today, not as good with the wind. So if it catches a good wind, it's gonna fall over unless you get some really good weight on those tripods. Today it's a little windier and it's not staying up as great. Also a con, I think, are the guy lines because when it's nighttime, you can't see these things. So if you're walking around the screen, 
Uh, you could trip on these. It'd be better if they made reflective ones like they do for camping tents. That would be another thing I would improve. Overall, I would say that the Century Star Outdoor Movie Screen is actually really good. It's, it's comparable to all the other screens I've used. I, I like the construction of it better, the way that you build it, that is. It's a lot better than other ones I've used. And again, there are some cons, but it's, it's definitely a solid choice if you're looking for a non-permanent outdoor solution for watching movies out in the lawn like we did last night. If you'd like to purchase your Century Star Outdoor Movie Screen, please look for a link in the description below. We're sending to Amazon. We can purchase your very own. Every purchase will help support the Eric DIY channel. We appreciate all your support. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, also push on the bell notification icon so that we'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. Just want to say thanks for the support and we'll see you later. Bye. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.